and uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that they got to communicate it's totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at more than so. Conserving biodiversity and growing food is the focal direction of the Green Cradle in Cameroon, where you can find conserved natural biodiversity, food, and cash crops, including cassava, cocoa, vegetables, and other species. You can see this cocoa plant is coming up as well. So, how is this cocoa doing? The cocoa is doing fine. You can see the height of the cocoa. It is really doing very well. Okay. All over this farm is cocoa we have in this farm. All around, you can look around. You can the cocoa in this farm. It's about close to more than 200, 200 hectares of cocoa in this farm. And how old is the cocoa, Mr. Ayuk? Uh, le cacao que vous voyez là, vous voyez comment ça, ça produit très bien, ça monte bon. La terre est très fertile pour cultiver le cacao aussi dans la donc tu encourages les gens pour faire ce genre de travail. J'encourage beaucoup les Camerounais et certains étrangers qui sont au Cameroun et qui cultivent le cacao avec ce que nous on est en train de faire, comme le piment, le poivre, le plantain, le manioc. What is the advantage of mixing all these plants in this agroforestry project? Okay, the issue is that now we are looking at the food security in this country. So in this green cattle project, we want to go into agroforestry so that we can have a lot of these uh, cash and food crops in this farm for short and long term purposes in Cameroon and the world in general. Okay. It's Okay. Est-ce que les gens mangent trop des avocats ici au Cameroun euh, on, on en gros même en agogo, pas, se, pas seulement manger, mais on fait l'huile d'avocat. On fait beaucoup de trucs avec l'avocat. Donc, ça manque dans le marché. Nice flower. Et vous pouvez voir une belle flower wild flower, aussi found dans le Green Cradle Project. Nous essayons de maintenir la nature de la biodiversité ici, while growing food at the same time to meet up with the demands of our ever-expanding population. Very good to drink. Fresh drink water. <laughs> Rather than going to places that are not adventurous and that do not have life-supporting mechanisms, it's better for us to visit this kind of eco-touristic heaven where you can have water to drink, you can see birds, biodiversity, and have fun.
agroforestry in practice. The project also involves women in participatory processes as their skills are the very essence of agricultural development in Africa and the globe. Thank you. Now, you don't know it is so. I wait for Okay. Yes. Ah. Wait, wait, and so now I can go day fine. Okay. Yes, we go food. But the way you see, and the plant the cassava, so the cassava, the plant are fine. Yeah, the plant are fine. So plant the chop or come over the farm. Yes, it's fine. So you fine see. So, but can't grow there. As the way grass again, so all things will be fine. You can see workers of the green cradle. They are doing a wonderful job here, and this is how we are trying to showcase our growth forestry from the African Center for Community and Development. So this is a quinine tree, you see it's yellow, the tree back is yellow and this is sustainable harvesting of the tree because when you peel off the back you expect that it grows over rather than cutting down the tree which is unsustainable as it has been tested before. So we peel the tree and this back is going to grow over and we harvest this which is medicinal. It is used for the treatment of malaria and typhoid. It is used in water or in gin for the treatment of malaria and typhoid. It's also found in our Green Cradle project. Across you can see bamboo that we are wishing to develop into some form of furniture. And you know, bamboo is the fastest growing grass. And so we have to do something about it in order that it acts both as a resource base and also as a way of conserving the biodiversity here as well. Thank you very much. And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the community here is totally very angry. Thank you very much for your Also, be very interested in this point at all. Thank you. With too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and the more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.